seasons in, how do you figure out? <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're going up. I guess I've lost count of the number. No, no, eight, 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 eight. But six, eight. They're but both the challenges eight. are the same. <laughs> I'm going to shoot you straight, Britt. When you started the question, I thought it was going to be a shit show, but you nailed the landing. So this is for you. It's a good question. Yeah, I actually think you've thought about it more than we have just by asking that question. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we start every season. You want to tell a little bit about yeah, the process? Yeah, at the beginning of every season, we take like a couple weeks to just to kind of look at what worked in the last season, what we love to do, and then we decide whether we want to do certain games again and how we want to spin it. And we always kind of have like, have like a top line idea of like, all right, this is a new area we want to go into. We, we said from like day one, if, uh, if the show's not advancing or pushing, yeah. we would stop doing it. Yeah. And that's, that's our challenge, is to keep it relevant all the time. The format is fun of the show that is both challenging and liberating, is that when you do a joke inside of a challenge, you might realize that that joke could be its own challenge. Yep. So we'll have some fun where sometimes, like I think even very beginning, in the very early beginnings, we told Q in uh, season one IFB just to hold somebody's hand and not let go. And then that became one of the challenges we did three or four times because it's just so weird and awkward. So that's part of the fun of it too. You'll find something that makes sense. Brian and I's water is here. <laughs> oh, I didn't that one. Thank, Thank you, Shay. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Say hi, Shay. Stay hydrated. Shay works on the show. You guys know Shay works on the show, right? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna tack on to that and say that sometimes when I show up to set, I don't even know what we're shooting Very that true. day. <laughs> and, I, and I have to ask Shay. I have to go. What are we doing today? And then she tells me, and then. It happens like that. Comedy gold. Comedy gold. Yeah. You gotta keep it, Great. you know. You never know what cue you're gonna get that shows on the set. It's very funny. <laughs> so we're only, we're only, sometimes we're I wake up in a bad mood. Yeah, we're only required to deliver 25% of the funny. That's right. So that's it. You know, you gotta deliver 30 seconds at most. You'll be all right. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody I, can do I could do that. Yeah. I could deliver 30 seconds of funny. That's fine. Yeah. Anybody, right? <laughs> so all I gotta do is worry about that sweet yeah. spot. That's it. Yeah. 35 yeah. seconds, it's over. <laughs> oh, I think I got a good 15 in there screwing that up at the beginning. Yeah, there there you go. go. Great. Don't, Don't even worry about it. That was the best. Great. Yes, you in the back. Sir, in the back. Yeah, in the blue. How, how do you guys deal with when you come up with an idea and then you go to do it in a situation and it's just not working? So how do you kind of rebound from that? <laughs> I get pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What we'll do is like if we're out there and we're trying to get it to go and something that you just can't cut it go, we'll just swap out and try again later. Yeah. It's gonna happen. Happens yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll, you know, Q will come out or I'll come out uh, if I'm just not feeling something, and we'll go back in like a half hour later. That helps a lot because you got to reset your head, and sometimes you get caught up in in why something's not working, and you're like, Sh -sh 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 -sh, what do I do? That helps a lot. It's harder when it happens with a full challenge like the other day. Oh yeah. Yeah, we filmed something the other day that on paper was gonna be hysterical. It's called Angry Mob Debate. I thought it worked. Well, that's where we disagree, but I actually it, it was so bad that it actually kind of worked anyway. So we'll make anything, because even when it doesn't work, we it's still our idea, right? We tried it, and either 50% of us are behind it or 50% are not, we'll just go. So sometimes it, it's either gonna fail miserably and be fun to watch to f fall apart because the other guy's gonna make fun of it, or it's gonna yeah. just fail terribly, and then we'll just all laugh at well, how bad it was. Here's the thing, they, uh, just the nature of our, our, our friendship, I end up usually going first. Joe usually ends up going fast because it takes Sal and I the longest to do challenge. And, and so the normal less. order is Sal, yeah, um, Sal, yeah. Mar 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 Sal, Mar Sal, and, and then you know, it goes faster and faster. And uh, in that challenge, like I went first, and again on paper I was a big fan of it. And after my first turn, the first I went like three, four times. First turn I was like, oh, this is not going to work. <laughs> and we all. still have seventy-five percent of it. To <laughs> yeah, but I think the nah. it's not like an episode of X Files where if it's a dud, it's a dud. Like if yeah. it's going south, we could we have the luxury yeah. of letting you guys in on it, right. of being like, this sucks, mm -hmm. and making that. A joke on its yeah, own. Yeah, the funny will come from somewhere yeah, else. Yeah, like it'll yeah. just come up because Sal, for whatever reason, was, yeah. in, was in clown makeup. <laughs> and he's miserable. And the bit's failing. And that's funny. That's funny to everybody. So, yeah. you know, we get away with a little bit more. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, you guys... New day? Week, yes. <laughs> Did you make the panel earlier? Did you see I just got here like an hour ago. I missed it. Um, yeah. It was here. Um, so, you bounce back and forth between stand-up and the show. Have you ever been on stage and went, you're doing a bit and go... This might actually work for the show too, or vice versa. Yeah, we uh, in one of our tours we actually had an idea to film 
Because uh, we shoot I, videos. Videos for the, for the... We show videos on stage for the live tour. Yeah, that's yeah. part of, the, that's part of the, the draw of the live shows. You can only see exclusive hidden videos, hidden camera videos that we film just for the live show. Can't see them anywhere else, and you see them only once on that tour. So one of the ones that we did in the last tour, in the Santiago Santos tour, was actually an idea for Jokers. We were filming it on, and we had to... We couldn't be edgy enough with it. And we were like, you know what? Let's go full tilt to make it edgy and get the best comedy out of it. But it's going to be a little bit uh, not safe for TV, if you will. Like it was, it was more than six. It was more like the sixteen and over, where we try to keep our show a little bit. Yeah. So we took it and we actually filmed that bit and we took that and we put it in our live show. Yeah. So someone had the origin where we thought it would work for the show. It didn't. But we were like, you know what? This is great for the live show. Yeah. What's the hardest punishment you've had to get through? I think of Murr's um, time at Tumblr. Oh, lag a bows. Lag a bows, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Murr, I will say this about James. <laughs> uh, a funny wind up. I, I will say many things about him, but I will say this. Only say one part yeah. to the question, yeah. though. We, uh, we, no matter what, the, if you think it's going to be the most uncomfortable situation in the world, that's where he shines. It's great to see him where other people score him, he shines. And I'll say that about him every day. <laughs> it really is. I mean, and that like a boss thing. We were in, uh, con- remember we were in a conference room around the corner with sound blacks. We couldn't be loud. We had to be quiet because we were literally in the, con- we invaded this office space. And it got so awkward. And so I was so, that the two guys in front of him, when they turned around, I was like, is there going to be a fight in the office yeah, right now? Yeah. Like it got, we never thought it would even go that way because it's an office, you're at work. And one guy was ready to murder him. I'm pissed. good at instigating fights. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think my, my worst punishment was tarantula, but I just yeah. watched um, the uh, California episode oh, one. Oh, yeah. And it was, I couldn't, it was so hard to watch. It's hard. So, yeah. We have a Universal episode coming up, and the, the punishment is, it's insane. Yeah. Yeah, I don't even want to ruin it, but it was, it might be the worst thing. Yeah, I think that was, that was definitely yeah, a top Tough video, to watch. Yeah. My favorite for you, though, was the cake punishment. We had a Q uh, posing as a judge at this cake baking competition. <laughs> and these are serious uh, bakers. They're, they're bakers. competing again to the big cake building competition in New York City. And uh, he walks around with a, hi, my name is Judge kind of shirt. Uh, hi, my shirt. name is Judge. Yeah. <laughs> it, was a, it was a, hi, my name is, we slap it on him, we hand wrote Judge. So it's credible, it's yeah. credible. And uh, we told him he had to just go destroy the cakes one by one as he's judging them, right? So he's leaving a trail of destruction behind him. <laughs> and after he finishes smushing the last cake, we tell him to take the badge off. He's actually a contestant yeah. in the same competition as the other people. So he goes and stands at table number three amongst everybody else. And just, the real judges come out and have to start explaining how was, this other judge ruined stuff. And they're like, what other judge? There are producers. And they're all pointing at Brian. And he's like, I was hey. wrong. <laughs> and and it, that, the way that punishment came about, to talk to the process for a second, was I came up with an idea where I was like, all right, what if we took an, whatever, an action figure and baked it into a wedding cake or birthday cake yep. or, or whatever. And then the punishment was one of us had to go out there and at a charity event get f- with a bunch of cakes, put our hand in the cakes and find which one to ruin them. Yeah. And everybody was none too hot. And then Joe goes, uh, oh, he goes, I got something. He goes, I got something. I was like, what? He goes, I'm not telling you it's for you. <laughs> so it was my idea. And Joe turned tweaked it. it, turned it against me. And that, that's how that came out. That, one. that was a good one. Yeah. The, the punishment process is fun because sometimes it's like that or other times it's like we'll just be sitting in a room and they'll be like, what if we make you a massage chair? Yeah. <laughs> and I go, well, what's the punishment? They're like, people sit on you and you have to shake. I'm like, great. <laughs> so those kind of things happen all the time. <laughs> Yes. What's the movie update, guys? Good oh, question. Oh, great question. If you hear anything, let us know. Yeah. We'll be here. <laughs> yeah. uh, we got messed up a little bit in the AT&T. AT&T bought um, Turner, bought our bosses, bought us. Yeah. Uh, and uh, they brought in new management, and the new management has new ideas, so they're working it all out. Yeah. But the movie's hysterical, and... Uh, yeah, the, the cut's locked. It's great. Yeah, it's, it's a good... Finished uh, yeah. beginning of this year, so hopefully you see it soon. And we all got free at and wireless off of it, too. I did, right. Oh, and mean? all of you I guys did. here are well, as well are going to yeah. be yeah. Yeah. The, No, they're not. No, you're not. Yeah. Sorry. So man. hopefully we'll have some news in the next couple of months. Yeah, yeah. I think it's going to be... There'll be news shortly. We are super excited about it. It's very difficult for us to sit on it. Yeah. Same. Same. The movie, yeah. the movie has in it a couple of mini spoilers. Uh, up until the movie, the most embarrassing moment in my life was the da- Danica McKellar punishment, mm-hmm. the Winnie Cooper yeah, from the one that. years. Beat they beat that. My, my best friends beat that we in the movie. That. It was the we movie had the most embarrassing moment. In my we life. actually went back to because there's a lot of stuff that we always thought like, oh, that'd be great to do, but it'd be wasted on television because time, budget, things like that, you wouldn't be able to do it right. And then when we got the movie, we literally like took out the old notebook. And we got like four or five ideas we always, always wanted to do, and we were able to do them in the movie. So it's really good. Yeah. Yes. Eight seasons in, 
Have you guys thought about maybe just six seasons? Six seasons. <laughs> doing writing and having new blood come in. Well, here's the thing with the show is that everybody responds. Put myself out of a job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah <I'm> a <laughs> to write. Well, you know, the thing is really just the, the ability to make each other laugh, genuinely how we make each other laugh, and that's what people are witness to, and I think that's a big part of the show. There's been other versions of the show that have failed miserably because it's not, not you know, it's not, it's not, it's not even not us, but it's strangers trying to be friends yeah. on television, and I think a lot of people need to, you're part of the friendship as a viewer. Yeah, people, people ask us sometimes, oh, can I be uh, in your show? Can I audition to be in your show? Like, we have to go back in time, <laughs> 30 years, become friends with us, and, yeah. you know? And I think a lot of it, too, is at, at its core, the show is really ultimately an improv show, yeah. mm -hmm. right? And uh, it, it, we, were, we don't know how people are going to react in any situation. We can plan and think of jokes in advance, but ultimately, we don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. And that's where I think our, our, our history together and our background as an improv group really shines. Yeah, the network really feels that. I remember when season five, Last season, season five. Um, I'm not making funny. I think it's great. <laughs> it's okay, it's um, season five, like I had my, uh, my, I had to make a decision whether I was going to go back to the fire department or stay with the TV show, and we had asked True, like, well, what happens if I leave the show and it's the three guys, and True's statement was like, we think it's got to be all four. If any one of you left the show, we don't know if it would work yeah. anymore. So, I mean, that's, you know, I think we agree with that at this point. I don't yeah. know. I mean, I'm sure another cast could make the show, but I have no interest yeah. in seeing that. You know, yeah. yeah. I wouldn't mind seeing a, a, a version with uh, uh, all women. See how that plays or out. Or kids. I think kids yeah, might be kids fun might too. Be good too. Kids might be good too. Kids might be okay. It can't just yeah, be, be four new four dudes. Guys, yeah. I would want to see a different we, version. We, we did. We did actually start to use kids a lot in our show. Like a big thing talking about like how we keep it fresh. About three seasons ago, we were always like we want the show to be real. Blah blah. blah, blah. Like well, we want to use actors to make it better to make some of the jokes land, but we don't want people to think that it our show is fake because it's not to its core it's us if people recognize us we move them along and then brian was like well it's fine if we just explain to the audience that these people are actors so you'll notice in some of our intros like the one of the first ones we did was we had a fake grandpa in the mall i don't know if you remember that one where we had these guys that were posing to be our grandfathers that we had to leave somebody had to watch them for us you had to convince people to watch your grandfather as you ran to the bathroom and then they had an earpiece in and the other guys just messed with whoever was watching your grandpa the good samaritan and we're like we want to do that we're like but we need an actor we're like so we just have to explain that to the audience and once we crack that code we're like we could use actors it's fun and whenever we use kids it's always always just a, you never know what they're gonna yeah. say we don't even tell them what to say at the time it's just fun to watch them be kids so. somebody you know that new face app that everybody's going crazy about yeah. this week right uh, they, 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 you know, aged us so we look like we're 70, 80 years old. And it says, like, Impractical Jokers season 32. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually season nine. <laughs> <laughs> but that is something I found really interesting is I love how you're involving the, the crew more and we're getting to see the yes. personalities of your crew members. I think my favorite one is when you guys say, how are we supposed to know Troy Chan is Chinese? And out of nowhere, you go, wait a minute, hold on, I have a thing. And yeah. Right. yeah. So, I mean, how has that been for you guys? So I think for us as fans, it's been really fun to get to see their personalities and, and see some of them. We, we agree that we, we've wanted to do that for so a long, day, long time. Day once, we, we, we got we, big pushback. When we pitched the first season, yeah. we said uh, we wanted the crew to be part of it from day, before we even knew who the crew were. Um, and the network early on said they didn't like it. And then as we got more creative control, we were able to, because these guys are insane. I mean, you guys know, met Shay by now. It's just, yeah, Shay. the thing with the show is the show seems, it, it still to this day, even eight seasons in, still seems like a, kind of a grassroots show. Like it's the four of us, it's kind of sloppy, it's kind of dirty, it's kind of messy. And there's, so you should see all of our crew and the friends yeah. around us that are helping yeah. build the show. I love bringing them Because you can't, you also can't, it's hard to hide them too because everyone is laughing and having a good time. And we're in the room with 40 people. So if they're all laughing, it's like, who the hell is right. making all this noise? I remember one of the, one when we did the, the Cake uh, Boss episode when we worked in, in Hoboken and we everybody over a joke absolutely lost it and it was just in that room we we're like turn the camera people have to see this and it was just everybody just laughing and having a good time so they're as much part and they work hard you know they work hard to make the show so we might as well That's another one. good point too like the the, the, the what Jokers kind of does is is it reinvents the soundtrack right mm -hmm. you know in the old days you'd hear this canned laughter or applause from an audience that doesn't you never really see or exists we, we own it, you see it, you laugh with us because you're seeing us laugh, but the whole crew's laughing around us, so why not make, make it yeah. bigger and more real? Plus, we love them. Yeah. 
Wouldn't be the same show without him. Most of them are, are better looking than us. It should be. Oh, God, anyway. Yeah. You got to see so, Chase. Yes. <laughs> By the word most, I mean all. But I'm trying to say most because Sal's not here. Yeah, the four least likely guys in the world. Yeah. Who haven't we heard from? Yes. Um, you said it's an improv. Uh, those scenes when it hits the fan. And how fast is your crew there to like get you out of a situation? Oh, it would be nice if they showed up once, actually. Yeah. <laughs> to be honest with you. We're only like, getting each other out of it. Yeah. yeah. It no, very it rarely <laughs> hits the fan. Yeah. It really does. I can count one or two times in eight years that it's actually done that. Yeah. Uh, and they react pretty quickly. Yeah. But the, the best part of it, about it being an improv show and being the nature of the show that we have is that um, if we have an idea, literally last second, we have an idea three minutes before and somebody runs to go grab it and, and makes it happen immediately. It's that fast. Oh so that not just for bad situations, for great situations. <clears throat> the other day we, we were shooting in Hollywood and, I, and it was a throw, Joe went first, rare and a rare Joe went first yeah. turn and he, there was a joke about the Hollywood Walk of Fame, the stars, and I was like, oh my God, I wanna, I wanna, I wish I had thought to have a, a fake Walk of Fame star made. By the time I went, to, I think Murray went and I went, yeah. they had a it's full, back fake Hollywood star made that they laid down for me. They're just Quinn. insane. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah it's, they're the best, the best. Yeah. Uh-oh. Turret guns are in. <laughs> we'll wait. It's all right, everybody. Yes. Curious, you mentioned you want to be relevant. You're living in a hot political climate. Yep. Uh, yeah. So you don't want to be a stale and you want to be dated. So do you edit for that so that it... We don't touch politics. No. It's ten you know it is? We always kind of thought of the show as like, it's this escape. wonderful island you go to yeah. at night to yeah. escape the yeah. insanity of the world we live in. It's, it, I, I think the show really has this, a, a very pure heart, which is why it stays relevant. Yeah, I, think it's, I, I, I do think it's important to, to, to just stay away from that. People need that. People need that, and I'll tell you what I'm not good at is understanding what the hell's going on in the world. What I am good at is 30 seconds. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like, that's, I'm fine with that being my contribution. It's, it's, we, we have noticed like when, when events happen in the city that uh, people find upsetting, it, it is tough to shoot that day. People need a sense of humor to take part of the show, and then when these events go on that people get upset about, it's, yeah, one, it's one tough of, to film. We, we were filming the day after election day in New York City. Oof, and what a mistake. Yeah, that was a big mistake. Nobody, Nobody everybody was screaming at yeah. us, yelling at us. Yeah, um, people, people were yeah. So, so I think you just have to... Just avoid you, it. You have to, <laughs> yeah, you have to keep, you know, you have to remember, and it's, it's not even that, like sometimes people just aren't in the mood for it. Yeah. So, you know... If, no, 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 we, was we on escaped it. Out. Yeah, we escaped it. My lights were fine. Yeah. <laughs> His lights were yeah. His life went on extra bright. Staten Staten I was watching Island. Stranger Things. That was fun. Staten Island's the island. It's kind of pure heart. Yeah. 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 Yes. How often do you guys get recognized while filming? Always. Yeah. A lot. Yeah. Absolutely. It's not a problem because we'll fish out people that recognize us because no one's good at hiding it at all. People are like, we'll see them on hidden camera too. Like, people come in and they're like, oh, and they'll walk up to yeah. sound. They're like, one cheeseburger, please. Like, trying to <laughs> not even, they have robot skin on. So it, it, it doesn't work. But bigger for that, the harder part for us is when we're engaging. Like, if you and I are doing a bit right now, off to the side, someone will recognize me. And I'm in the middle of trying to get you to, you know, put me on your shoulders. And somebody comes flying over. I was like, Joe, I love And they come over and like, hey. And, and before our, if they don't get intercepted by production, you have to justify who this person is to this stranger, and they'll walk away because they'll realize you're working, and they're like, oh, "What's that?" I'm like, oh, "I'm his pharmacist." So anyway, can I get on your? Screen? You know, like like you have to make up these stories. Weird stories like, "Oh, good to see you again," and you're hugging me, and you whisper near, "Get out of here, we're working," and they'll be like, "Oh, okay," and they'll, they'll hide. So yeah, that's that's the hard part. Good. For they are in on it. They get it. Yeah, but it's also great. <laughs> like it's also terrible and great. Like. I'll tell you two stories real quick. One, I'm in Target looking for paper towels. Don't know where they are. I say to the woman, excuse me, do you know where the paper towels are? And she goes, oh no, Joe, you're not getting me, and walks away. <laughs> like I'm filming in Target. Like she doesn't know that I'm not there. Like I just needed freaking paper towels. The other side of that is if you wanna, if you wanna like just mess with people and whatever, and people are like come up and like, oh, Joe, like sometimes I like to go, shh. And they're like, <laughs> the one way of thinking we're filming when we're not. So it's like it's like fun to do that as well. It also gives us uh, we can get away with murder in uh, real life. Get away with every show. Yeah. In murder, we can just take anything from a store. <laughs> yeah. I'm not condoning stealing. Yeah. Please, yeah. 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 But you go in a store, you grab a muffin, you're like, ah, I'm like, ah, he's breaking me. <laughs> Mark breaking me. He stole a muffin. Free muffin. Yeah, in good. the past Free five muffin. years, I haven't walked into a store with Joe where he doesn't go, what's the discount I'm getting? <laughs> the second he walks into a store, what's the discount? Let's go. People like look up, they don't know what's going on. What? It's even more fun when the people. 
people don't know who I am. Yeah. <laughs> I think he gets his discount. And I get a discount anyway, yeah. yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> he likes to go shopping with me. Yeah, I do. Saves me money. Yes. Uh, no, two ladies first. Ladies, ladies first. first. Um, since we are at Comic-Con, what's one of the shows that you just... Have a oh, I cannot wait. I, I'm gonna go. I'm trying to. I have the. We have the thing at Petco Park. Yeah. I'm trying to get out of it for now to go see what we do in the shadows. Then their panel, because that to me is one of the best shows on television. The Rick and Morty. Like I'm excited to yeah. to do all these things. We uh we filmed our 200th episode in uh, L.A. Uh, about two weeks ago. And while we were there, we uh we got to see the Good Place set. Yeah. And we fanboyed out. Oh my yeah. God. And I know they have a big activation here in town this week too. Yeah, Marvel's Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, mm -hmm. panels tonight when, when our panel is. I'm upset about that. All this stuff is happening when we have stuff. I know. What do we really, talk to all about All I want to do is go to the, what yeah. we're doing. The I walked by the battle. Brooklyn, uh, did you see the Brooklyn Nine-Nine uh, no, activation? It looks awesome. Right yeah, I didn't get there. We didn't, I didn't get to walk around. We got. I got in this morning was doing other panel stuff, so I didn't get to walk around. So I walked around a little bit, but I, I'm excited to see the Brooklyn Nine-Nine one as well. I got in trouble during that one. That doesn't surprise me, Brooklyn. What'd you do? <laughs> she walked in and told me I, I season two. I don't want to spoil it, but you're supposed to be in teams working with people, and so my boss and I are on the same team, and I'm very, very competitive, so I just start screaming directly. <laughs> Even the actor that was with us is like, no, no, listen to her, she does what she's doing. I'm like, I was like, I'm so sorry, I just started yelling at you. She's like, I don't even care. Like, yeah, it looks fun. Yeah. I'm looking forward to that. Great. Uh, good question, too. Yeah. I know this is not a James S. Murray press, press conference. Everything it is, is James everything S. Murray. Is Murray. Life is a James S. Murray conference. In my mind, it is. <laughs> but I invited my friends. Yes. Yes. That, can you tell us about your new book? The new book? Thanks, man. Uh, How much did you pay him? I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? yeah. Awakened came out last summer. It's part of a trilogy. The Brink just came out two, three weeks ago. And the guys were there uh, for the launch. I'm mm -hmm. very appreciative yeah, of that. And uh, it's a thriller. It takes place a year after the first book. The mayor of New York City on the hunt for uh, the evil mastermind behind, behind all these crazy world events, these creature attacks. And uh, it's good versus evil. There's a dose of Nazis in there. There's lots of a great love story. There's lots of great action. A Nazi love story. Not Nazi many books will yeah. give you a Nazi love story. And uh, book three, and we hit a couple of bestseller lists last week. And uh, book three comes out next June as well. What do you have to say about the reviews saying that the second book is not as good as the first? That was one person. <laughs> Is that true? To know about I didn't read it. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't, there was one review, one and this review. is true. I have not spoken one. to him about That's this so until funny. right now, oh and I God. know that he's seen it. One guy goes off on Murr about, oh, the second book is not as good as the first blah, 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 and I know that you've seen it. Yeah, the, but the, 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 user, the user who posted it, his name was S. Volcano. This is strange. No, you know, people said season two sucked. That's true. That's too. true. And they you see, people wrong. always think so. That, you know, whatever. That so, uh, <laughs> didn't bother me. One <laughs> That's great that you brought that up. <laughs> I love it. You book two's me. better. Do you have <laughs> another, you have another panel now? You have a, you had a book panel. I had a book panel uh, today, a horror panel, and uh, and just songs. So songs. Isn't it true you almost got into a fist fight with Joe Hill on the last panel? No. <laughs> That's the rumor. That I is heard. not Stevie true. King's He's son. Like, I heard the two of you almost got came to blows. We did not. He was a lovely guy, and we were on the same panel. <laughs> That's together. not true. I just made that. Yeah. <laughs> a second. Yeah. I'm trying to spread things around. <laughs> I heard. I try to spread as many rumors as we can. I heard here. Joe Hill called you a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you took a swing at him. Yes, sure. That, that is true. Yeah. Okay, I that took a swing, true. but I missed, so no okay, more. No so foul. it's all fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wish we lived in the world where that happened. Yeah, we can just start rumors. Like, like, Sal's not like here because Joker goes down because I beat the shit out <laughs> of Stephen King's son, right? <laughs> I also love that we refer to him as Stephen King's son. He's like such a. <laughs> yeah, that's good. He's a best selling author. <laughs> anyway, what? I forgot we were here. Oh, sorry. What are we doing? Good. Yes. Traffic camp. Yes. Show. That should be on the show. TV talk to you about no, like actually making a show. Yeah, we're in negotiations okay. to do it. Yeah. Are you really? Are you really? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so that's awesome. I don't, I don't know that. No, uh, it's gonna be Joe, uh, Joe Gatto, and Joe Hill. Joe <laughs> <laughs> Shotgun. Uh, yeah, I'm excited for it. I like it a lot. People really respond to it. Don't you think nice. it's dangerous for you to? Put on a full show while you're driving a vehicle. <laughs> Has nobody brought this up yeah, to this wait, guy? What yet? about carpool karaoke? Yeah, yeah, that's a that's a production. Yeah. That's a whole thing. This so is, is mine. <laughs> yeah, this is you driving like <laughs> that's this. That's all you need. This is you. No, it's that's mounted. dangerous. It's mounted. I, almost, I uh, you know, true clarity. I've almost gotten three accidents, but no, 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 no. no uh, it's going well. It's it's fun. People like it. I'm on episode seventy two now. Oh my gosh! And I'm Jeez. doing yeah, I'm doing uh, I'm doing my first live show in New York. I'm gonna try it. Which yeah, is this August. Uh, yeah. Come on out. August. And we're doing actually we're doing we, we do it on the cruise, which is where I started. I did it live on the cruise, which I use the DJ as my radio, so it's kind of fun. My DJ <laughs> friends do it, and we're doing it on this cruise again. So when yeah. is the show, Joey? August seventeenth. Seventeenth. Yeah. When is the cruise? The cruise is February tenth to the fourth. 
14th leaving out of Miami. Not sold out. We got a couple cabins left. Act now. <laughs> <laughs> right, Jack? Right. Nice. <laughs> yes. Uh, so you guys have had a couple pro wrestlers on the show. Yes. Uh, mm-hmm. Dreamer. Yeah, I was on the Jericho Cruise. Yeah. Jericho Cruise. Okay. All right. And now, are you all fans of? I know you are. I always see you in a wrestling. No, show. it's sa- that we leave that up to Sal and Q. Yeah. yeah. Well, Murray, Murray's a big fan of the old school. Like you, uh, your knowledge school, goes sure. deep for the back. In my apartment right now, yeah. I have drawers full of all the original action figures. Remember from the eighties, we had the, oh, the yeah. whole ring. Oh yeah. Big block. Of you're, a you're a fan of toys. You're a fan of toys. No, like I was a huge uh, WWE. F fan in the 80s, yeah. massive, massive, and, and 90s. But, yeah, but it's but the 2019. I know, but now it's 2019. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I love it. I, it's the best. Were you a Hogan guy? Oh, come on. Yeah, of course. And Rowdy Roddy Piper is my favorite. Oh, he had the Hogan yeah. uh, workout kit. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, Hacksaw Jim Dar- Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Pi- Piper was super fly. I was in the bad guys. I was, uh, how do you feel about Hogan? Uh, now? <laughs> now, yeah. Adult Rob. I, I have trouble separating Terry and Hulk. Yeah. But, um, I mean, you can't deny his place in history. Yeah, yeah I, I felt, because I was at WrestleMania when he came out. Yeah. And I was like looking around. I was like, how's this going over? I, I don't know. I, I, I hear like some people are like, hey, he's apologized. And other people are like, he has apologized enough. Right. So I, I'm curious how you, how you feel about that. Yeah, there's, I mean, so obviously I'm, I'm not there. I've read a few things that, you know, there's there's been a couple of the, the locker room. Yeah, I know Big E wasn't too happy with him. Right, right. So, and personally, again, I, I still struggle with that. You yeah. Know, I, was, I was a guy I grew up, I idolized him, but at the same time, because I like the heels better, I think I always like Macho Man a little bit better. Mm, than sure. Man. Like, so. I still listen to that Macho Man rap. <laughs> it's unbelievable <laughs> where he's calling out Hogan. I'm like, it's unbelievable. It's the best. You should check out, there's a show on Vice. You should check out, it's called Dark Side of the Ring. Okay, I'll check and, it out. Um, Dark Side of the Ring. One of the first episodes was uh, Macho Man and Elizabeth. Oh man, they lived on Staten Island for a long time. You know, there's a, the the, the, the after after this, we all have aspirations to do different things, and my aspiration for Q, and I think is partly his too, but I'm going to push him into it, is to become a manager in wrestling. Oh, yeah, but a heel manager, but a heel manager, a heel manager. I love I amazing. Amazing. Yeah. On the Jericho cruise, I created a, a, a heel persona. I put my hair in a faux hawk, oh, and I wore like a shirt. Then I was called Brian Abrasive, <laughs> and I started the uh, the ABO, Got the out. Abrasive uh, AWO, the Abrasive World Order. <laughs> And like fans started making AWO That's shirts great. and stuff like that. You so I'm all ready. Brian DeBrace is ready to go. All right. Let's, yeah. As soon as we get canceled. <laughs> Any day now. Can you guys talk about, uh, what are you guys doing tonight? What's this panel about? Uh, tonight is, uh, it's actually being moderated by one of our friends and legend, uh, Tom Kenny, the voice of SpongeBob oh, SquarePants. Yeah, he's, uh, we actually met him here and it blew our minds that he knew who the hell we were, right? We met him yeah. at Comic-Con, right? Yeah, Comic-Con. Comic-Con's always fun because the bump into factor, which is so much fun for us that we're able to, you know, so much has happened actually in this room, outside this room, Sal showed his Jaden tattoo to Jaden Smith. Yeah. Right, out there, right out there. Jane Smith was on uh, for After Earth. He was doing uh, press in here. And we saw that it was him and we like stalked him. And Sal ran up and dropped his pants in front of his. <laughs> he's also a six foot uh, four bodyguard. And the guy was like, what are you doing? He's like, I got to show him this. Yeah. And he showed it to Jane Smith. But here is where we met Tom Kenny. And we instantly hit it off with him. We went to dinner with him that year, right? Yeah. And uh, really great guy. And he'll actually moderate. And as, uh, you know, he's taking fan questions as well from, from the from the people there. And we actually have a couple announcements as well. We can't say anything yet, but read we the do. papers yeah. tomorrow. Yeah, we'll be talking one. about, uh, of course, the 200th episode of Jokers coming up. Yeah, and uh, we'll be talking about our new show, The Misery Index. It starts this uh, soon yeah. on TBS. Yeah. Am I a part of these announcements? There's a big one that you should really worry about. <laughs> <laughs> it tells me anything. Yeah. It, it, tune in next season to see three <laughs> Jokers. It's going to be a great show. Yeah. Okay, guys, I think we have time for like two or three more questions. Oh, yes. Um, What's it like when you have like the surprise celebrity guest? Oh, like Murray having a punishment or Gary Busey popping in and throwing things at Sal. Yeah. What's that like for you guys and how does that get put together? Sometimes it's a secret from each other. You know, sometimes we'll use them as a, use people as a weapon. Busey is a weapons fun. But like in LA, when we did our, we just did our 200th episode in LA, and we knew there we were in Hollywood, so we would have some fun. So we have probably one of our creative, uh, one one of our favorite cameo bits yeah. that we actually used a couple celebrity cameos in which was a lot of fun yeah um, we have well, another he one put coming it on, he put it online already so they oh he did oh, yeah okay. so so uh, we got jay and silent bob in it um and they're they're in like kevin and jay are in character as jay and silent bob which is great it's it, it was i mean so a real great. moment yeah it was great because really, really it's weird because like i don't want to give away what they're doing but like 
they're coming at you. Yeah. And like you look at it and suddenly you're in this weird world where Jay and Silent Bob are like <laughs> coming at you with aggression. And you're like, oh my God, like how did this happen? It's, it's amazing. It, was it works cool. a couple different ways. Sometimes we'll reach out to a celebrity if, if we hear they're a fan of the show or sometimes they'll reach out to us or we'll meet them in like this kind of thing set, setting and they'll, they'll say we want to be part of the show. And uh, sometimes we plan in secrets uh, like Danica McKellar. I had no clue when I walked in that they the knew her or talking to her that she was a fan. Mm -hmm. So it was, I was completely Completely blindsided, uh, so it kind of works like that. Yeah. So I saw you pop up in the trailer for Day and Bob reboot. Yeah, I shot a day on that. So is there any talk about an impractical joke a movie? Uh, well, we shot one. It's just not out yet. Yeah. Yeah. So there's there was a lot of talk about it. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, but that was that was a fun that was a fun shoot. The Janice on Bob was in New Orleans. It was pretty cool. That's right. You went to New Orleans. For I went to New Orleans for a day. Yeah, it was great. Is one for Brian. Yep. For the episodes where the guys punish you with spiders, and it seems like you were yeah. really seriously pissed off. Hundred percent. Have you thought of the punishments for each of the guys yet? Yes. Well, I got Sal. I put kittens on. That was great. Uh, <laughs> and that, he was as scared with kittens was. as Q was with deadly spiders. And, well, the, the, something actually didn't work out. That punishment was supposed to be a little different. There's this cat called a Savannah cat which is, it's about this high, it looks like something that'll kill you in the woods, yeah. but it's not, it's domesticated. It's a house cat, yeah. But it's, it's people walk on my leashes, it looks like, a, like the Great Dane of Cats, That's right. but it looks like a bobcat. bobcat yeah. So we had it set up that at the end, a savannah cat was gonna come in, and, and Sal has no idea what a savannah cat is, but that morning the woman was like, I can't bring the cat, he's not feeling well. But it worked out anyway, because Sal's such a wimp. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean, that it, that it worked out. I kinda like that he was worked his kittens. When I made him chop through his daughter's photo, yes. was that one. <laughs> And that yeah. actually reminded me that I haven't really gotten. You know what? Yeah. 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 So keep an eye on season. <laughs> Next question. Season eight. Yeah. Second half of season so eight. You'll some see time something. Left in season eight.